Okay. What's your name? My name is Tom Costello Senior. Senior? Yeah. And what year were you born? I was born in 1924. Yeah, whereabouts? In Atchison, Kansas. What were your parents' names? Uh, uh, Dick Co uh, R uh, the name R P R P Costello, and as I told when I was 12 years old, my I was sitting on the floor under under the table, and my dad and mom was at, at the table, and and my dad said uh, uh, said Dad, what's your name? He said uh, R R Richard Peter Costello, and I said, Well, that's 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 Dick for short. <laughs> <laughs> so how many, you know, you were born in 1924, and you had, how many brothers and sisters have you got? I have eight kids and a walk-on. No, I mean, brothers and sisters, how many do you have? Did I have? Yeah. Oh, I'm one of ten kids. Yeah. And I, I was number four. Number four. Right. All right. How many, you have how many sisters? I have, uh, I have uh, four sisters. All right, so you got six brothers. Right. Or five brothers. Six. Well, yeah. All right. It's six and four. Makes ten. All right, and then what are the names of your brothers and sisters? There is Mary, Mark, Vic, Tom, Ed, Janice, John, Dorothy, Bob, and Nancy. Yeah. Did, did you uh, live? How long did you live in Atchison? I, I lived in Atchison until I was uh, about this, this, about seven years old, six years old, or seven. Then you moved to where? I went, well, we went to actually we went to. Uh, Dodge, Dodge, Dodge City. I noticed that, that that I had my first communion in Dodge City, Kansas, and then I then I went to uh, uh, Atchison. Oh, from Atchison to Dodge City to to St. Joe, St. Right. Joe, Missouri. All right, hang on just one second. I'm gonna do something here. It won't hurt. Okay, you had a piece of phlegm there. Oh, okay. Um, you yeah, went to St. Joe, Missouri. Right. All right. So when you were a kid, what kind of things did you like to do as a kid? I was, I was, I had a lot of fun when I was a kid because I pestered everybody, <laughs> and my my mother said I was the, of all the kids, she was a, I was a, a, a pest with with uh, for my mother, but with all of them. Yeah, did you get along with your brothers and sisters? Well, yeah, it seemed like I did, as far as I knew. We, yeah. Do you have any hobbies or special interests uh, or anything? Well, I I, I was. A big talker. Back back then, I I, I was always a, a big talker, and I and I was always talking about things that was going on, and uh, and, and and I I was quite a good a, a, a speaker, and in fact, uh, uh, until I had my stroke here about five years ago, I, I don't talk so, so well naturally, but but before then, I could talk about everything and anything, and in fact, when I was uh, in, in, when I was in Chris, Christian Brothers High School in St. Joe, I was uh, the uh, I, I w was the number one speaker in the uh, in the school, and they gave me in fact they gave me a a, a prize as the uh, as a book called uh, uh, Jesus what is it uh, Jesus uh, my imitation of Christ Im imita imitation of Christ, and that was that was my first book. In fact, I think that's the only book I ever, I've never read a whole book in my whole life, even though I, I write, read lots of stuff. In fact, I, I'm reading something right now about, about how, when was the first airplane in the air, and it was 1903 yep. by, by uh, Orville or Wright. And, uh, but I, 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 I'm, I've always thought that I go to Toastmasters and I, I, I go. This is a talking club, and and I and I've been talking in, in the club for 30 years, and I have some kind of a record on that. And and I uh, uh, and, and I and I uh, as I tell the people there that, that once in a while that, that, that in order to get smart, all you have to do is have have a dictionary, your Bible, the encyclopedia, and and and, and the. Uh, uh, with National Enquirer. Na Nas National Enquirer. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, but even though I read a lot, I, I re read a lot of stuff, I, I, I don't think I've ever read a whole book myself. What was your first job when you were a kid? I was, well, I was, I guess I was a newspaper peddler. I, I, 
I, when I was run, running the, in St. Joe, I, I was a newspaper uh, route, and I uh, and that was big stuff in that day. It was like twenty dollars a week, and and I was that was like something like twenty dollars a week, and and that's how I made my living back then. And, and all my bro other brothers, I think all of them had, had paper right, rights al along the way. Yeah, and then so okay after the paper job, you what did you do? You went to from there you went to what? What did you do after paper? Well, when well I was I was actually uh, still on the paper route, and and I went to, uh, went to high school for four years, and then I went to the first year of, of college, and uh, in fact uh, something that's kind of interesting. Uh, I I would I'd get on the paper right. I I would it was twice a day, and and I go at four four thirty in the morning on the papers and then I also do in the evening and so uh, and, and because I was out catting around dur during the night uh, about half the time I, I would uh, I, I wouldn't sleep as, get as much sleeping as that I would so I'd, I'd go to, to the sec second st story in, in the, in the, in the uh, 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 college deal in, in St. Joe Junior College and I would uh, and I sleep up in the second root deal in, in a corner up there, and I and I go to sleep on my on the, in the paper wrap sack on my head for, for, for a pillow, and, and I and so one day I was this was like in, in 19 as I think it was 1941. This was right after Pearl Harbor, and I was uh, uh, I was up there sleeping, and the guy one of the guys in charge he took my foot and, and woke me up and said, you ought to quit sleeping up there, you, you, you look lousy. And, I, and he said, in fact, why don't you go to this, why, why don't you go to this, this, uh, uh, this uh, thing we have today when you get a, uh, and, and see what the government is, is uh, well, getting to get people into in the service. And, and he, I said, I, I don't even have a, pe a pencil, pencil. And I said, well, uh, I, I, I usually have, have that p pencil in here somewhere. Anyway, I, well, anyway, well, here's one right here. And uh, I, 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 didn't, I didn't have a pen pencil then. And so the guy said, well, I'll, here's one you could, here, here's one for you right here. So, so I said, okay, I, I went into the, in the room and, and, and signed up for this, this this course, and um, um, and it, as it turned out, of, of about 200 people that went, went took, took the, the course, I was the only guy that, that, that passed the course. And so, um, so anyway, in fact, my dad was quite impressed. He even, even called the school to tell him that the fact that I that I did get that, and I got a a a, 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 a thing for the for the Navy. Um, as a officer in the Navy, and then I, of course, I went to Parkville. I went from from there to went Parkville, Parkville, Missouri, which is near Kansas City, and then I went from Northwestern, and then from 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 Northwestern to uh, to, to the ship on uh, on the LST 1038, and, and LST is is a big is, a, is really a big ship. It's a, it was 330 feet. That's th 30 feet. Uh, longer than than a uh, than, than a fo football field, and and I was a number guy in in, in charge of, of this of this of the chip, and so uh, uh, and, and so until the war was off, it was over. And in fact, I I was probably the, we had probably the first we had the first ship that that uh, went into Japan after they after they 